What's up everybody? You already know what it is. It's Dan the Bugman back with another bug video. This time we've got a house that was completely infested with cockroaches. What I'm going to be showing you is a prime classic example of a cockroach infestation. I'm talking maximum clutter, food everywhere, and hiding spots for cockroaches galore. If you guys watch this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm talking about and how you can prevent cockroaches from infesting your home like this. Let's dive right in. First things first, you know I've got that PPE. That's personal protective equipment. This is gonna keep me safe from the chemicals. I'm always wearing gloves for sure, then respirators when dealing with airborne chemicals. Flashlights are always essential as well. Right away we see some adult cockroaches. Roaches always start in the kitchen. When someone says they've been seeing roaches, I'm going straight to the kitchen and inspecting the cracks and crevices with my flashlight. It appears these specific cockroaches love a relaxing book by the microwave. Appliances are always hot spots for cockroaches because they give off heat and provide lots of hiding spots. As you can see, roaches are very social insects. They gather in small groups like this where they can breed and stay close to each other. They release chemical pheromones that tell other cockroaches that this is a safe place to hide. You know I had to grab a couple of these and give them what was coming, the good old stomp. Again, stepping on bugs isn't normal pest control protocol, but these guys had it coming. If you're liking this video so far, please take your thumb and step on the like button with it. It helps me out a ton. Thank you very much. Then I hit the area with some residual pesticides to prevent them from using this area for harborage. This will flush them out of their hiding spots, and as you will see in a few minutes, this was working very well. Apparently, we now know that even cockroaches like Legos just as much as we do. So this was actually the second time in two weeks that we had treated this home for cockroaches and there were still this many hanging around. Just imagine how many there were here the first time. Next, I started to find some baby cockroaches, aka nymphs. Some insects such as butterflies and beetles, they do not have a nymph phase, but they do have a lar larva or basically glorified worms that is a middle stage for the insects. Cockroaches, however, they come straight out of the eggs as a baby cockroach called nymphs. These are two different life cycle growth stages. Once you've done as many cockroach treatments as I have, finding their hiding spots becomes second nature. Basically, I look for any dark, small cracks around the kitchen area. Those are all fair game. They also like to be close to food sources. Speaking of food sources, cockroaches can survive on the smallest amounts of food. However, this home did not have small amounts of food. It had large amounts of food. Massive areas of cat food scattered throughout the kitchen. This is an all-you-can-eat, endless buffet of crab legs and burgers for cockroaches. And if you're ever having internet problems, be sure to check your router for cockroaches. Although, I'm mostly joking, but this one was pretty crazy. As I mentioned earlier, this was the second time my company was here. The first time we put out some of these glue boards and boy, did they work. Look at how many cockroaches were caught on this one. The small black ones are the nymphs and the large brown ones are the full grown adults. Many of these are still alive and moving. Cockroaches can go up to one month without a single bite of food and I can only go about an hour without food so I don't know how they do it. I almost captured a cockroach getting stuck on a glue board on camera, but his friends told him to turn around and go the other way. This was a good idea. At this point, tons of cockroaches started running out into the open kitchen floor. This is not normal cockroach behavior. They're doing this because of the treatment I performed earlier. The chemical that I applied made the cockroaches run out of their hiding spots looking for new ones. This is going to help us figure out where they're coming from and what we can do next. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Cockroaches are one of my favorite pests to exterminate. I always feel like they're a challenge and the customer gets a huge satisfaction from whenever I get rid of them. Let me guys know what you think about the video and subscribe to see more stuff like this. And let me know what you want to see by commenting on this video or any of my other videos.